The name Obadiah means servant or worshiper of Jehovah, two occupations we all ought to seek. The vision of Obadiah came about the time of the collapse of Judah in 586 BC. A contemporary of Jeremiah, Obadiah's prophecy is against the people of Edom. He puts the magnifying glass on two verses in Amos, chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. It's not so much a warning to them as it is a small ray of light in the darkness for the children of Israel that God will not let their persecutors go unpunished. A little refresher on Edom. These were desert dwellers east and south of the Dead Sea who traced their lineage to Esau, first son of Isaac and Rebekah. There was a wrestling match between Esau and his twin Jacob from the days they were in their mother's womb. Although born first and therefore in line to become the spiritual leader of the family, Esau had no appetite for spiritual things and sold his birthright for a bowl of red lentil soup. Although the Lord famously declares, Jacob I've loved but Esau I've hated, it's vital to note that this is written to Malachi, not in Genesis, and it's talking about two nations and their attitudes to him, not individuals. This is especially important to notice when Malachi 1.3 is quoted in Romans 9.13. God held Israel's cousins, the Edomites, guilty for barring Israel's way when they came out of Egypt, refusing them passage to enter Canaan. See Numbers 20. They also abetted the enemy when Israel was under attack at least three times. Just one chapter long, the prophecy divides simply with the overthrow of Edom described in verses 1 to 9, then the offenses of Edom given as explanation for this judgment in verses 10 to 14. Israel's deliverance is also foretold in verses 15 to 21. Fascinatingly, it'll be in the land of Edom that the remnant of Jews will flee in the darkest days of the Great Tribulation. The location is hinted at in verse 3, where the Greek word for rock is Petra, the name of the most famous stronghold in Edom, a rose-red city half as old as time, as John William Bergen described it. Another nearby Nabataean stronghold is Basra. It seems that the remnant will hide here until the long-awaited and once-rejected Messiah comes to rescue them. Here the king makes his stand to rout the Antichrist. Isaiah 63 records the event, and the words are repeated in Revelation 19. Who is this that comes from Edom, with dyed garments from Basra, this one who's glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength? I who speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Edom, like Adam, from the Hebrew Adom, means red. Adam, made from red soil. Red-haired Esau, who sold his birthright for a bowl of red soup. Red rock Edom. And now the Savior with garments dyed red, like the stain of the blood of grapes. This time the vintage he is treading out is the blood of his enemies. And then concludes Obadiah, the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And that's our scripture snapshot of the prophecy of Obadiah.